Hi there, week number two in review. Well, last week I learned about scheduling, and this week I'm definitely doing it. And, oh boy, there's a lot of work to scheduling, but I found that Facebook pages you can actually, um, oh, what's the word for it? You can actually get other people's flows coming into your page, and I'm doing that. And I'm experimenting with other things. Thank you, Peter. Because Peter helped me see how simple Facebook pages were. Business pages. And I'm thought, think, they're hot, they're hot. But actually, they're not. They're really good. So, I encourage everyone to go get yourself a Facebook page. Business page. Secondly, uh, exercise, keeping the moving. Yes, and it's freaking cold, but it's happening. Garden, yes, I've got the front driveway happening. And some other bits around near the little rockery out the back. Um, what else? Diet-wise, I lost some weight. Still not quite down on the blood glucose thing, but getting there. I didn't mind doing that. <laughs> oh. So food intake has definitely changed. Yes, just got to keep going with it. Thank you, this challenge. Uh, personal, I think I've covered everything. No, I haven't. 2014. Um, a person told me that there was no me in my things. Not to make it all about me, not that, but there was no me who I was. The essence of me was not coming through. And that's basically because there was no me coming through. I didn't know me. The accident. <clears throat> and I realised I'd made a promise the other day. I'd actually made two. One was when I found my me that essence of me, I would put that essence of me into what I was doing. And I have. Oh, I've been watching some early videos. I see what he means. Um, and I'm now putting the essence of me in the front of my blogs. And it's just talking. Not waffing, but talking. So I've worked out the bridge effect and the connections. And that was like after I put my essence of me in there. So the second part of that promise was to let them know <laughs> when I had got to that point, to which I have done. I'll let them know. So, when that thanks platinum course, but when that essence of who I was came through and I recognized it for what it was, that feeling of relief that all the little dots had been finally connected is amazing so it's been three years uh, and she's been 25 years since I lost that essence of me I hid it deep in no memory I don't know if you can recognise or even imagine what it's like to have no memory. Don't wish it on anyone. But I tell you what, nothing ever goes from your rain. And uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful having yourself knowing, getting to know yourself took a while 
getting to recognise who I was, and even in a mirror, I was like 20 years. <laughs> but the difference since I came on board SFM as an affiliate marketer. <laughs> really, I haven't done any marketing, but I've marketed to myself. And those changes, they no longer start on me. It's just like a natural flow. <laughs> Which is like, like I have a license to live. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Second week into this challenge, the dots are joining together. And I have just realised... I have a license to live. I've printed a runoff copy and it's mine. <laughs> but if I, the original's mine. But if I can help other people, which I am going to do because it's all setting up and it's getting it out there. Autism is fun. When you go from the <clears throat> stage yourself, to the questioning stages and you go but what is this stuff you don't realize you're grieving for what is normality oh what the freaking heck's normality but when you start believing and knowing autism as a gift that's different and now the world is still in post-traumatic shock with autism. <laughs> you want to put it that way. <laughs> and yet, there should be and is going to be and will be an acceptance of people who have the autism traits. They don't need the shit that the world gives them. They don't need to be taught to teach and to accept that shit whatever it is right? it's all negatively they don't need it what the world needs is what we have and everyone more people than not have autistic traits and believe it because that is true so so true and those are going to be shared so that there is a movement of people who accept autism as a gift. Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel in depression modes. Yeah? Look at that beautiful stuff that came out of that. Galileo, he saw helicopters for heaven's sake. He just couldn't build them. Where did he get that from? Ask yourself, go and check, keep an eye on the posts, find out for yourself and remove your own dis-ease with something you're unfamiliar with. Hmm. I did. I wasn't familiar with myself. <laughs> I don't know whose life I was living, but it wasn't mine. And I thank each and every one of you on this, this second day, no, second week ending today of this 90-day Toronto challenge. I knew when I took it on. Thank you, Justin, for mentioning it. Bang. Yep. Instant decision or something I wasn't going to do. Happened. I did it. I'm here. Look at what has been achieved. Bang. Thank you all. All right. That's my weekly review. Bye.